this. We're gonna mail you a. Uh, we're gonna mail you a mini bike. You have to put it together. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. There's a bunch of things to do today, including moving the R32. I'm picking up a snowblower because we're going to get some snow, uh, more snow this weekend in Chicago. And then I'm going to tell you how losing 50 pounds allowed me to win that and an iPad. So let's jump right into it. So if you watched my video the other day where I kind of tricked you guys into thinking I was selling the R32, I mentioned that my jumper pack blew up when I was starting the R32. Well, what happened there is I had a brand new battery in there when I was working on the R32, but I didn't have this thing on a trickle charger because I didn't expect it to be outside for so long, and that battery froze solid. So $174 later, I got a new battery. Expensive. I didn't think they were that expensive, but anyways, I'm gonna remove it this time and keep it inside So batteries are heavy as hell, but in my camper back there. I installed four lithium batteries Which funny enough Cost as much as I paid for the R32. I guess that's not funny. That's kind of sad. But anyways, those suckers are light So I don't know if you guys follow me on uh, Instagram uh, on my personal account or on the gas tax account, but uh, my handle is at this is WJ Bell or gas tax garage and if you've been following me there, I love bonfires uh, I have a bunch of fire blazes around my property and I set it to all the different ones Just for different scenery, but that being said I also have three cords of wood on hand at all the time because that's how much wood I go through and I live in Chicago, so it's kind of weird. But anyways, my brother wants to borrow one of my fireplaces and some wood, so I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna jump in the car and we're gonna go pick up a snowblower. So here's one of my fireplace areas that I'm in the middle of building, but it's been a, a colossal F up. I ordered this from Wayfair. You know, I wanted to put some heating elements around there, so when my family, or oh, when my, my parents come over to watch my kids play in the snow, they got somewhere warm to be, because I'm not letting anyone in my house. <laughs> At certain stages of this build, the, this is a COVID issue, uh, rushing and manufacturing and whatever, that's what I believe. They've put the wrong parts or faulty parts into this whole build here. So for three weeks, it's been sitting here, and it's just driving me insane. But anyways, I'm gonna grab some wood, grab uh, this fireplace so my brother can use it. FYI, solar stoves are the best. I have two of them on this property. I keep one in my camper, because once the fire is going, no smoke. Everyone hates the smoke around the bonfire. These things like twice bake the wood. There's a link down below if you guys are interested in that. That thing is awesome. All right, let's load it up. Oh, <laughs> here's another thing I just had. This is the fire pit that's going inside here uh, it's a little Jeep see I have a problem with fire pits just like I have a problem with cars and motorbikes I have many problems so one thing you guys already know about me is I love spending money so in order to spend money you gotta have money and I've always wanted to make more and more I guess everyone does but when I was 15, I started shoveling um, for someone in Chicago here, snow shoveling. So I'd ride in the plow truck and do all the sidewalks while the plow driver plowed. Now, you know, that was fun. But when I turned 16, I wanted to make more money. You see, shoveling got you about 10 bucks an hour. Driving got you about 30 bucks an hour. So I decided to buy a plow truck and my buddy and I started plowing. We ended up having 120 customers um, and by 17 I think that year I did hundred and twenty thousand dollars of revenue obviously plowing and income all uh, depends on how much it snows but the reason I'm telling you this is I made sure everything looked good when I left that driveway and no one 
No plow service has ever treated my driveway like I believe I treated my customers' driveways. Granted, my driveway is a bit different. There's a big turnaround here. It's super long, but you can see where my stakes are. And you can see where this snow is. Circles are hard to plow. There are my stakes. This is a bend. This is terrible. That driveway actually goes all the way to the bush. So I am obsessed and I, and I hate it because I used to plow all the time and I would, you know, do things better. So I nearly decided to pick up a Steiner 440. I'll put a picture below because I really want to <laughs> make my driveway look good. But I decided instead of getting a five year old, six year old machine, I want to actually wait a while and get a much better machine that has all the bells and whistles and brand new. So in the meantime, I am gonna keep up with my crappy plow service, but I am going to do the finishing touches, which I used to do for my business, and that's take a snowblower and then actually go to the edges. And I say, Warwick, why don't you just find a new plowing company? Because I've tried many over the years, and every time it's the same issue. Uh, literally, I think it's just hard to find people that know how to actually plow. You know, I, I love plowing, I miss plowing every day. I've considered buying a plow truck just so I could plow my driveway and make it look good. But uh, I haven't jumped that on that yet, but maybe I might. But anyways, that's a little bit about me. Uh, I'm waiting on my brother to pick up this. Then we're gonna go pick up that snowblower and I'm gonna start talking to you about how losing 50 pounds made me win a thousand dollars of stuff. All right, guys, so I just picked up the snowblower and now I'm gonna tell you how Losing 50 pounds got me a free mini bike and a free iPad. So, anyways, if you look at my videos in uh, July, I would say I was at my highest weight there, 330. This is not a weight loss channel. I'm just telling you a story. If you don't like it, the golf. If you want to listen, stick around. And uh, I got a, a text from a friend on like a Saturday. He said, "Hey man, I'm doing a, a hard 75." Do you want to uh, join me with this? And what a hard 75 is, it's 75 days. You have to work out inside uh, for 45 minutes. You have to work out outside for 45 minutes, and this is per day. You have to drink a gallon of water a day. You have to stick to a diet, no alcohol, and then uh, read uh, 10 pages of a uh, non-fiction book every day. So I decided I would jump on that. Uh, so that was a Saturday. Sunday was like my last day. And then Monday I decided to do that. And then I went all the way until uh, basically November with doing all of that. And I lost, uh, I think 55 pounds was the total weight I lost. During this time, if you can imagine, losing so much weight, your clothes start to uh, get loose and fall off. <laughs> so I needed to buy some clothes. And I'll sit in my computer um, editing and I get a notification that Bikes and Beards is going live. Uh, Bikes and Beards is a YouTube channel that I won this stuff from. So anyways, they were going live and they were talking about they were giving away a motorcycle. Uh, not a mini bike, a motorcycle. And it's a, a FRT uh, 1200. It's uh, an Indian. And I actually had one of these bikes on order when they first came out. Um, but the concept of the bike and the actual final product look completely different and I wanted the concept look so I canceled the bike but anyways I figured out it would be a uh, funny if I um, won this bike from them and how you entered was just to buy their merchandise uh, which is t-shirts and clothes and stuff so I needed t-shirts sweaters and stuff so I decided hey I'm gonna just buy all my clothes that I need there and my goal is to continue to lose weight so i bought a bunch of different sizes uh ranging down all in all i spent about uh, 800 dollars on clothes yes it's a lot but i don't really have a fashion conscious i don't really care about uh, what i wear but i do like some of the clothes i'm wearing this sweater now so i figured hey i need some clothes let me just do that and i did that while on live screen stream and they were like oh my god that was like a, a mega order um, so because of that order, here's a free iPad and they just included a free iPad, brand new iPad in my order. So that was fun.
So I'm gonna go snow blow the driveway real quick because it's been bugging me. That's why I bought this thing. And then I'm gonna assemble the mini bike and tell you the rest of the story. <sighs> All right, well, I've led you on long enough. Driveway is done. I figured uh, building this would be like a three second video. Um, but let's get into how I won this while I unpackage it. But before we unpackage it, I told you how much I weighed. I told you how much I lost. And I'm definitely exceeding the weight limit here. Uh, 13 and over is the age. Well, I'm glad I'm that in reverse, but 150 pounds, I'm double that. Three hours runtime of a full tank of gas. Guarantee you it's not gonna be that with my ass on it. But anyways, I won this, it's free. Uh, I'm gonna use it, teach my daughter how to ride it if she can uh, fit on it. But let's get unboxing. So the day came where Bikes and Beard were doing the drawing for the actual uh, FRT uh, or FTR uh, 1200. And they also decided they're gonna do a couple other giveaways. And if I have the clip, I'll show you the clip of me actually winning. But how I won this was <laughs> the biggest single order on their website. Wow, work bell. Award for most spent during the giveaway. Wow, award for you spent the most. We're gonna we're gonna mail you a uh, we're gonna mail you a mini bike. You have to put it together. So it was pretty funny that I won the iPad for being a big order on live stream, and then I won this for having the biggest single order, uh, <laughs> which is exactly the same thing. But all in all, I spent about eight hundred, nine hundred dollars on clothes with them. Um, I do work in the garage a lot, so a lot of my attire gets stained and whatever. So once that item gets stained, it becomes my garage clothes. Obviously, I try to keep this out of the garage more, but you know, time to time, I'm just lazy and I don't feel like changing it, I do it. But all in all, I spent about eight, nine hundred dollars on clothes. I got a free mini bike and a free iPad. That iPad is gonna go live in my cars as my GPS for overlanding. But let's install this, uh, see what we gotta do to start it up and take it for a spin. Yeehaw! Let's see how this baby rides. Well, there you have it, guys. I want to thank you for sticking around if you made it this far in the video. Uh, something different, trying a different kind of filming to see if you guys like it. But I want to give a big thanks and a shout out to Bikes and Beards for hooking me up with this, uh, hooking, up me, hooking me up with the iPad, obviously the great merch, and then all the cool videos we put out there. Congrats on your great success this year. Uh, I have tried to reach out to you a couple of times to do some videos, like the Euro one. If you haven't seen that, check it out here. Uh, and this was a happy coincidence. Um, my daughter actually thinks this is me, and I say yes it is. So, sorry about that. I just say I put my face on my t-shirts. So, until next time guys, be sure you like, subscribe, and share this with Bikes and Beards if you don't mind, because hopefully they'll see it. Until next time, I'll see you there.